Today, I'm going to share with you four Photoshop effects you can apply to your photos to give them that classy photography feel. Okay, so this effect is what I call the radial blur effect. Click Ctrl plus J to make a duplicate of your image. Now, right click the duplicate and then convert it to a smart object. Now, come up to filter, down to blur and then click on radial blur. Now, change the quality from good to best and then change the blur mode from spin to zoom. Now, increase the amount to an amount of your choice. For this image, I know about 75 or 80 works for this image. And then when you are done, you can just click OK. And then wait for Photoshop to load the radial blur. Now with your radial blur applied, come down and then click on the mask icon to create a mask for this layer. Now click Ctrl plus I to invert the mask. Now select your brush tool and then make sure the foreground color is color white. You can increase the size of your brush tool with the right square bracket key. Now after increasing it, make sure the flow is at 100% and then make sure the brush is a soft brush. Now paint back the radial blur onto the image and as it's getting closer to your image change the flow from 100 to 50 percent and then reduce the size of your brush with the left square bracket key now paint closer to your subject reduce the size of the brush tool and then click z for your zoom tool now zoom into the image and then change the foreground color to color black and then select your brush tool again and then make sure the flow is at 100 percent now with your small brush clean the unwanted blur from the subject And then after that, you can zoom out and as you can see, we have a beautiful radial blur effect applied to the image. So this is before and this is after. Beautiful. Okay, so this next one is quite quick and easy. To do this, come to your tools and then select the rectangular marquee tool. Now, make a selection like this across your subject. Now, after doing this, click Ctrl plus G to make a selection of that portion on a completely new layer. Now, click Ctrl plus T and then holding shift, drag the image towards the right. Now you can click enter. Now with the same layer selected, come down and then click on the mask icon to create a mask for that layer. Now come to your tools and then select the gradient tool. Now click and drag across to create a smooth transition from your subject to the effect. And as you can see, we've created this beautiful stretch effect you can use for your beautiful classic photos. Okay, so this effect is called the film halation effect. So to start, click Ctrl plus G to make a duplicate of your image. Right click the image and then convert it to a smart object. Now come up to image, down to adjustments and then click on threshold. Now increase the threshold level to an amount where the white parts will not be too much. So I'm going to increase my threshold to 175. 175 looks very nice. And then click OK. Now come up to filter, down to blur and then click on Gaussian Blur. Now you can increase the blur to an amount of your choice, but for this image, around a radius of 40 is perfect for this image. And then click OK. Now open up your blend modes and then change the blend mode from normal to screen. And as you can see, we have a beautiful film halation effect on the image. So this is before and this is after. Now you can take this a step further by adding color to your film halation effect. So to do this, open up your new adjustment layer and then select solid color. Now change the color to a color of your choice and then click OK. Now holding Alt, click in between the solid color and the effect we've created to clip it to the effect alone. And then change the blend mode from normal to either overlay or soft light. But soft light is OK and then you can change the color to a color of your choice. So something like a sunset color like this 
also is very nice for your image but i think i prefer it without the color so there you have your beautiful film halation effect created using photoshop okay so this last and final effect is what i call the arc pixel stretch effect to do this we have to make a selection of the subject first so i'm going to come to select and then subject now with the selection around the subject click ctrl plus j to make the selection on a completely new layer you can use any method you like for the selection by the way right click on the layer with the selected subject and then convert it to a smart object now come to your tools and then right click the rectangular marquee tool and then select the single row marquee tool now let's zoom in you can click z for your zoom tool and then you can zoom in this way select the single row marquee tool again and then make sure the layer with the selected subject is selected and then click and drag across your subject now click ctrl plus c and then click ctrl plus v now you realize this thin line has been created so let's zoom out for now and then we have that thin line on a completely new layer so click ctrl plus t and then holding shift drag up and then you can drag down as well to the length of your subjects and then click enter now you realize this pixel stretch effect has been created now you can click ctrl plus t and then let's rotate it 90 degrees now holding shift drag to the left and to the right now let's increase the volume as well let's make it big okay so something like this looks very good and then you can click enter now right click the effect and then convert it to a smart object now come up to filter down to distort and then click on polar coordinates make sure rectangle to polar is checked and then you can click here to see how your effect is going to come out so this is how it's going to come out and then click ok now after the effect has been created just right click it and then convert it to a smart object again now click ctrl plus t and then holding shift you can work with the effect how you want so i'm going to stretch it to pass the knee and the arm of our subject so now drag the effect below the subject so that the subject comes in front of the effect let's stretch it a little bit towards the right as well okay so this looks good in my opinion and then click enter now create a mask for the effect and then come to your tools and then select the brush tool make sure the brush is a hard brush and make sure the flow and opacity are 100 percent make sure the foreground color is also black if it's not you can toggle it with this arrow and then you can increase the size of your brush with the right square bracket now clean this part or any other part you do not want i don't want this part so i'm just cleaning this part and then as you can see we have a beautiful arc pixel stretch effect on our image and this is just awesome thanks for watching if you enjoyed the videos don't forget to leave a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos never stop creating and i'll see you in my next video